Okay, so you know, Netflix, iTunes, digital copies, they're all great. But I've always been a collector of physical media. I like to be able to see the artwork. I like to be able to hold the object in my hand and actually see what I own. And if your brain is wired in such a way that you really like that physical media, at some point this can become a problem. Space is at a premium, especially when you live in a big city. I live in a relatively small apartment, and so I had to come up with a solution to store all of my DVDs and Blu-rays. DVDs that come in standard cases are removed from the cases and placed in vinyl DVD sleeves. You'll see a stack of them here on top of the cart. Yeah, there's House of a Thousand Dolls starring Vincent Price. All of those go into some custom storage drawers over to the left. Okay, so speaking of Vincent Price, when I was a kid, I saw The Mad Magician in 3D broadcast on television and have been a big 3D fan ever since. So we have all of our 3D Blu-rays stored on this spinner rack here. Uh, here are some of the horror movies. The studios have been a little slow to release films on 3D, but if you search around, go to other regions, you can find quite a, quite a few films out there. Uh, just beware of the German conversions. In Germany, they tend to release a lot of very poorly converted films. I've got a couple of these turkeys in here, but uh, I keep checking in on them every few months to see if, if uh, they're improving their standards. Here are 3D nature films and documentaries. Cane Toads, that's a good one. That's an Australian film. It was released in the UK. Here are video games. These are Vita, Wii U, Wii. These are the PS3 3D games, and then down below, just standard PS3 games on Blu-ray. That does it for that spinner rack. Over here, I have Criterion Blu-rays. Uh, there are also some BFI Blu-rays and some documentary films at the bottom. We have three of these DVD spinner racks and they're the largest capacity available. If you put them in just so you see the spines, you don't organize them as I have here, you can easily get 900 DVDs or Blu-rays on a single spinner. Uh, I think the official number is over a thousand, but you'd have to really cram them in there. Fortunately, we haven't reached that point, so I can show off some of the covers and display them. You know, I'd much rather look at the Grand Hotel Steelbook's front cover than the spine. These are primarily classic Hollywood films. Uh, I also have some Warner Brothers Digibooks stored here. The Connery Bonds. Now this next spinner is half DVD and half Blu-ray. A lot of the DVDs out there don't come in standard DVD cases, and as a result they're incompatible with the sleeve system I have in the drawers over to the left. So all of the DVDs that come in non-traditional packaging, those are displayed on the shelving units up above that are mounted to the wall or they're in this spinner rack here. All right and so here we have some more Blu-rays. These are TV shows, uh, Battlestar Galactica, some superhero movies, action movies, sci-fi movies. And then along here we have oddly and uniquely packaged Criterion DVDs. There are also some old movie serials and fat DVD cases down here. I'll give you a quick look at the shelves we have mounted over on this side. You can see some Walt Disney treasures in the tins. 
and on that lower shelf we just received the three seasons of the Alfred Hitchcock Hour. Those came out in Australia. I've never seen those so I'm pretty excited about that. Now the lion's share of our DVDs are stored in these drawers. I had these drawers custom made and the inspiration for this came from comic book collecting. I was a comic book collector as a kid and of course any serious collector is going to put every issue in a mylar bag and then you stick those in long boxes sorted by issue number and then title. Now if you're a serious enthusiast or hardcore eh, mildly mentally ill collector uh, you know your job is never done and you keep acquiring more and more stuff. As we kept acquiring more and more movies, the collection was becoming entirely impractical. I've seen lots of people struggle with this on the internet. They, they get to a certain size and then you run out of room and you start doubling up on shelves. You have DVDs that are two rows deep. And, you know, eventually you can't even find anything. You want to watch the Thin Man movie? You know, good luck finding the damn thing. So as our collection began to reach critical mass, I thought back to my comic book collection and thought about how I could apply that storage system to the DVDs without damaging them. Some collectors, in a fit of desperation, they'll take all of the artwork, the discs, out of the standard-sized DVD cases and transition to slim cases but you have to mutilate the artwork to make it fit into the slim case the spines become illegible and look like shit you've destroyed any value your collection may have had and you really only reduce the size of your collection by 50 percent because a slim case is half of the thickness of a standard dvd case so about five years ago I came across these vinyl flat DVD sleeves. There are a few different vendors who make them. I, I suppose the most popular brand name is Disc Socks uh, and those are archival but they're also quite expensive. Uh, I picked these up from Bags Unlimited and I ordered in a pretty big quantity as you can see so I was able to get a fairly good price. You just fold the artwork down along the back crease that already exists so you see the spine from the front and the disc goes in a padded pocket. Yeah, I'll go ahead and show you a little more of the living room here are some books. These are primarily movie books and also comic book collections. Uh, I have some hardcover slipcase EC sets and a lot of Jack Kirby's work. I'm a big fan of, of his stuff. As I mentioned before, the drawers for the DVDs were custom made. When packaged in those vinyl sleeves, each drawer can hold between 750 and 800 DVDs, so the capacity of that thing is about 4,000 discs. Up there on the ceiling, that was the Optima HD33 3D projector. It's a mid-range projector, but we've been really happy with it. The brightness is super, colors are great. Over here we have a uh, PS3 Slim and also a Sony Region B Blu-ray player and there's a Wii U down there. Everything can feed either the television or the projector and we painted our screen directly on the wall using a white satin latex. Yeah, I think that's good enough for now so thanks for watching and if you also feel like you have too many DVDs and not enough space, you're not the only one. But hey, it beats Netflix.